Kulukov here with Kulukov Grapple Academy, home of Sambo Jiu Jitsu Fusion. We're running a Sambo camp right now. Today is the final uh, final day, and I would like to uh, take some time and, and review a particular throw, which is called Pulaev throw. All right, so there's a player, a judo player, uh, Mikhail Pulaev from Russia, and he does this particular technique. And it's not an accident, he does it like consistently. So he's Tokuwaza, that's his uh, signature technique. And it's amazing, all right, guys. The basic, the premise of the technique is basically so if Jeremy stood like this, and you know how in high schools bullies would go like this behind you, and somebody will push him and let you go. That's exactly uh, what the technique is based on, all right. And uh, we're gonna start with gripping, right? I'm not a Jedi. I can't just go like this and take him down. I have to grip up, right? No wrestling without gripping. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for cross, also known as. Uh, uh, oblique grip. Uh, let me just clarify some uh, uh, nomenclature here. So, like, if this is considered conventional grip, then often in judo they refer to this one as cross because you cross an arm over. However, I call it uni unilateral, right? Because it's uh, uh, two grips on one side. Call it however you want. I just want you to understand my mentality, my, 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 my nomenclature. So, uh, oblique or cross grip is very similar to two on one. The only difference, stone one is done with a hand here, and oblique grip is over here. So I cover large circumference, so I, I uh, block off the far side too, not just this one, okay? And uh, you can grab a leg without the gi, but with the gi you can actually get a handful of material or the jacket or whatever, and it's a much better control. Three ways to get there, I'm sorry guys, it's, you know, I know I've said it before. Number one, first contact, I get the grip, I pull it across, I get here. Number two, I intercept. I know if he's reaching over, intercept, redirect, get the grip. Number three, he already grabbed me. I missed the first two opportunities. Knuckles dug in, make sure to pop back. Don't pull down, because once I pull down, I engage the bicep. So it's like a, away from me or away and up. And make sure body snaps backwards and redirect. Whenever I get to this position, uh, depending on thickness and height or whatever, you can grab the shoulder, armpit, or the belt. I usually go somewhere by the armpit, just like this. Uh, and watch guys, I don't grab uh, the wrist, I grab the gi. Again, much harder to strip, much harder to rip the arm out. Shoulder pressure and my head is over here. This is the position and I got like entire game here, all right? So let's go to Pula Epo. So often ends up like Russians love this grip, right? So uh, the first thing he does, he just readjusts this hand, okay? And guys, what, it's, uh, what I'm about to do is similar to Tanya Toshi, but Tanya Toshi is kind of direct. Tana Toshi or Patsad is when I stick this leg out and I stay on this side and I just <coughs> that. It's great technique, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But, but the second one is way more deceptive, right guys? So I ended up here, I got my armpit grip and my first adjustment, my wrist arm is gonna grab him right here, this way. All right, so uh, by the time I end up in the a, in a back, I have tremendous pull here that's very hard to strip, okay? And what he does, as opposed to staying on this side, he falls over like this. He falls over like this, and in this case, my left leg is gonna be proper leg. So watch, as I'm falling, I'm gonna insert it right here, and pull him this way, right? Raise his up, and uh, with my pull, I'll make sure that my partner's shoulders go on the mat, right? So I score more. I will score regardless, because he'll go down, but the flatter he goes in Sambo, the more I score, all right? So one more time, we got to uh, here, and I usually like move the guy, sometimes I kind of shock him a little bit, oh, get this grip. And watch that, slow-mo, I fall to a cross. I don't stay on this side, I fall completely across as I'm pulling, and that's why I ended up with my left leg this way, pop him, boom, this way. And this grip will uh, afford me a good follow-up. He cannot turn away from me or into me, because I control both. And I just slowly high stop and get here, maybe switch the arm, and uh, get to the top. It's, uh, it's not the idea, the idea is to demonstrate the takedown, okay? But there's plenty of ground control once you hit the mat. One more time. Jeremy grab me. Strip the grip. Get to two on one. Get to oblique grip. Boom. Boom. Just like that. And that's your full eye for all guys. Enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you.